Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obed Potato, and this is Urban Empire. I've played the tutorial of this game. I know roughly what I'm doing, but for the most part, I don't. So, you know, same old shit, really. Um, anyway, this is kind of a game that seemingly combines city-building elements with kind of political elements. It seems right up my street. Um, we're going to start a brand new campaign here and hope that things don't go completely horrifically. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to choose between one of four families. The Von Pilsons, uh, Landed Gentry, Aristocrats, Strong Military Tradition, and a Hardline Conservative Stance. Their Grand Manor has steadfastly overlooked the same estate, surrounded by their fields and far- Okay, great, fantastic. Um, Saint Elias? Uh, patrons of inventors and innovators. Okay, so seemingly like a tech-based family, I guess. Uh, solving problems through technology. Technological innovation is rapid under their rule. They're known for their ravenous hunger and ideas and progress. Uh, fierce disdain of established traditions and conservatism. Okay, interesting. Um, that looks like Klingon, except it's not. It's Kilganon. Kilganon, a strong working class family, so seeming like, like an industrial an industrial family, perhaps, that specializes in industry. Uh, politics, labor, right movement, there is in the grassroots community to actually play a major role in the city's political scene. Okay, so some uh, something of a more politically engaged um, family. And the Shoiskis? Shoiskis? With a really, really cool um, emblem thing. Looks very dope, actually. Looks very, very cool indeed. Uh, Russian emigres. They pride themselves on being cultured, civilized patrons of the arts and theater. On the surface, uh, unassuming and even indifferent to politics, none of the rival families view them as much of a threat, and their awareness of social obligations has them in good standing with the people too. Okay, um, I think... I... I don't know. So, let's, you know, we've got military-esque, traditional, conservative-ish family right there, a uh, technological family, uh, an industry-based family, and a culture-based family, I guess. Um, I think we should probably try as the, the tech people, notorious risk-takers. I mean, that's, you know, that's me. That's me and one, right? I make stupid decisions and take stupid risks. Um, Gaiuspi Saint Elias is the eldest son of the Austrian Emperor's science advisor. Okay, while his father urged his name uh, to follow in his footsteps, his name was more fascinated by architecture than natural sciences. Uh, he felt the old ornate buildings of the empire were outdated and envisioned a new architecture of functional spaces that focus on the needs of the people. Very interesting. So you're progressive, you believe in progress and new ideas, security minus one, grammar brain power, it was cool, we'll talk about that later. Uh, solitarian, the value you privacy a lot, uh, cool. And Emperor's nominee, you are nominated to your position by the Emperor himself and thus cannot be voted out. Fantastic, sign me up. Uh, tutorial, let us disable the tutorial because I've already done it. Uh, we've got three places to choose from. We've got Remy of Swarelia. Swarelia? Sure. Uh, the Cauldron or Cape Swarelia? Hmm. Do we want to go for this? I think we should probably... Mm, I don't want to challenge. I don't want to challenge. I guess we probably just go for the normal one and see how things go. So an interesting thing: this game is going to be releasing, I think, on the twentieth of January two thousand and seventeen. And as such, I'm not actually allowed to show uh, what goes on past the first era. So this game is apparently subdivided into eras. I can only take you up to the start of the second one, up until the twentieth, and after that, it's all gravy, baby. We can do anything after that. But. Uh, Unfortunately, up to the 20th, I can only take you up to the first era, but we'll we'll have a good time whilst uh, whilst we go and fingers crossed We'll be able to continue after the 20th playing uh, Playing some more Okay, good 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 good. So this is the area that we have to play around with there is no mini map actually That's kind of worth noting. Uh, it doesn't particularly matter because We don't really need one uh, it's not really a, a game that is focused on building a lot of stuff. It's a game that is focused on building little 
but well, I would say. So let's go and create our first ever district. Now districts, I love the way that they're created. It's super, super awesome. We can actually drag a district area here, which kind of looks boring, right? But what we can actually do is we can, uh, you know, we can like move the corners around and make it bigger, make it smaller, make it whatever shape and size we want. I really like this size. Um, for a starting one, you can't make the districts too big and you can't make the districts too small either. But you need to bear in mind that the bigger the district, the more it is going to cost. We only start with a uh, thousand K, which I guess is like a million. Yeah, I guess it's like a million. I'm um, a million gold coinage, maybe spelt with a K. I'm going to call it coinage. OK, we start with a million coinage or. a Yeah, OK. What, what, what is even the, the fun? What do you measure them in? I mean, the K is like thousands, right? But I'm just going to call it coinage. All right, whatever. Coinage. Fuck it. Coinage. Uh, we can choose to modify the grid and make it so uh, we can have default, we can have dense, or we can have sparse. Um, this is the size. It's HA, which I presume is like hectares, but I don't really know because I'm not a farmer and I don't understand uh, land sizes, but it doesn't particularly matter. Anyway, let's just burn a shit ton of money. Uh, that's our upkeep cost per month. Eh, easy enough. All right, let's do it. Fantastic. Uh, we will build a city hall first. We can build it pretty much anywhere as far as I'm aware. Uh, this is where industry goes, by the way. This is for... Uh, commercial, I think, and then this is residential. I mean, it says mixed area, but I'm pretty sure it's like commercial. Or perhaps all all of them can go in there. I don't really know. I mean, that's what I assumed, but when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me, right? Okay, so uh, cost is going to be 25k to place this, and it's going to cost us 5,500 per month. Let's confirm that whole uh, shenanigans, and let's do it. It's going to cost us almost 300k to do it, and upkeep uh, upkeep of 38k per month. Coinage, 38 coinage per month. All right, proposed district. Uh, we're not going to call it this. We're going to call this uh, uh, district district square because I'm very creative with names. Uh, we're going to have to use personal funds for this endeavor, which is fine. Now. This first district that we were able to place was completely easy to do. Like, it was very, very, very simple. You just drew it on, you know, brand new district, pop this on, whatever, shebang, right? However, if we wanted to place a second one and we wanted to use... And if, you know, for example, if we, uh, if we don't have enough money, then the next time we do it, we might have to get uh, approval from the council. So you see this here? These are the parties, and we'll talk a little bit about this as we go on, but I'm not going to do that for now. Uh, cancel our changes. Yes, that sounds very, very agreeable to me. Uh, we can go into the city council, and we can actually have a little look and see what is going on in this place. The city budget currently is pretty dodgy. Um, things aren't exactly in a great place, and this looks like a complete mess of, uh, of numbers and whatnot, and you know what? It totally is. But... I think as a first a first thing to do, we should start taxing uh, our people at an appropriate rate, right? So we probably don't actually need to start taxing, considering we just need to wait a little bit of time for people to move in first. That's probably a great idea. Uh, we should choose an invention as well, because that's kind of like the tech tree. Okay, ignore me. Ignore, ignore what I'm saying. Uh, gas infrastructure will unlock a bunch of stuff. I don't really understand what any of this stuff does, so I'm not going to really mind too much. Uh, increases sales in certain industries. Sure. We are tech people, so I'm presuming that this goes quite fast. Unlock the police station, spread selection. Um, yeah, okay. 58 months. I don't know if that's a long term, uh, a long time in this game, but uh, hey ho. Anyway, let's see how it goes. So it seems that one month per tick is how it operates. Uh, our finances are pretty bad, actually. Uh, we're losing a lot of money per month. Um, we could upgrade this if we wanted to, but I don't think we really do. Now, if we have a little look at this bar up here, 
we can see exactly what is going on in terms of a little bit of a snapshot of our city, for example. Uh, we've got the minus 32k coinage per month, or minus 32 coinage per month. Uh, average fun is apparently quite high, considering there's nothing here. I'll take it. Honestly, I'll take it. Uh, the average health is not great. Uh, average personal growth. I have no idea what that is, but average personal growth is a thing. Grand. Um, cool. Uh, average physical environment. That's a little bit of a weird term, but average security, average social life, and city happiness. So a mixed bag, I would say. A mixed bag. A commercial building. Yeah, so it seems... It seems, indeed, that we can have commercial buildings, industrial buildings, and residential buildings all in this block. Or maybe not industrial, but we can definitely have commercial and residential. Oh, trouble with the conservatives. So, from time to time, events like this will pop up. Uh, the Free Democratic Party dislike the conservatives because they are standing in the way of reforms. Um... Let's try and find some common ground, because we don't really want to upset either party quite yet. Yeah, okay. Appreciation of a party towards another party. That's great. Okay, you know what? That's okay. I'm okay if uh, someone appreciates us a little bit more, because we are going to be need to... We're, we're going to need to whip those votes uh, as soon as the time comes. Which is something to keep in mind. I mean, it's all fine for now. We're losing less and less money. We're growing our city at a nice rate. You can see the demand for uh, houses, industry, and commercial buildings all up there. So everything seems to be going pretty smoothly, apart from our cash flow. Our cash flow is less than ideal. Uh, logbook, doesn't really matter to us. That's fine. Um, place an institution. We can't place any institutions yet at all because we haven't unlocked them, but we will. Data is there, so there's uh, an elite, a middle class, working class students, and lower class. So we need to consider the needs of all of our people, not just uh, not just a few. Although it is worth noting that we usually, as a a party and as a family, as an ideology, we uh, you know we don't really care about uh, the old the old ideas. We don't care about tradition. We care about new technological advancement, which is. Very, very exciting indeed. Okay, so we're almost into a point where we're making money uh, with a little bit more growth in the residential area. And it looks like there's a little bit of demand for that. Uh, we should be able to become positive, which is exactly what we want. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is fantastic. Would you look at that? Okay, everybody hates me, but it's all fine. Look at this. Running costs, 38k per month. Income. Ah, oh, this, this is fantastic. This, this is fantastic. Who does everybody support? You support the Free Surrealian Party? Yeah, I, I, I don't really want to know how to figure elections out yet. I mean, we're just sort of going with it until uh, something happens. Okay, but this is fine. We're making money. We're making money. Money is good. Oh, thermodynamics. What is this? Uh, your city administration needs to make a decision about the interior of the forthcoming railway station. Okay. Uh, Ascentic Imperial Swaralian. So I'm presuming that this will have an impact on uh, which party hates me the least. Let me see who currently likes me the least of all of the parties. How do I check this? Political parties? Goodwill. I've got three goodwill with them, three goodwill with them, three goodwill with them. I've got three goodwill of everyone. Um... This is the breakdown of how many seats everyone has. The city council is 61 seats. I mean, I'm pretty... I'm pretty... Pretty okay with everyone, actually. I think. I should probably try and get into bed with the biggest people. So the... Syocroatic party? Left-wing politics? Left-wing policies, even? So the left-wing chaps with support of the working class and the lower class? And a ridiculous amount of support from the elites, which is impressive. A higher percentage of elites support the the working class party than working class people do. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, so it wouldn't be imperial. It would be ascetic. Yeah. All right. Minus 25% for that research. Did you, did you end up liking me? Fuck. I thought that was going to affect the... Fuck. Whatever. I thought it was going to affect uh, how a party liked me, but I guess I was just wrong. I guess that, that kind of happens. 
All right, uh, we're just pretty much waiting for the thermodynamics to complete, and then we're going to be in a great position. Uh, we are going to need to get a brand new uh, district very soon. We can actually probably place it right now if we wanted to. Um, oh, I love, I love how this happens. I love how this works. This is really, really cool. Um... How much is that going to cost us? It's going to cost us... It's going to cost us a fair amount of money if we wanted to get... If we wanted to get something like this set up. But I happen to know that the uh, spread selection will allow us to adjust the residential, commercial, and industrial buildings. So I know that this is going to have some sort of an impact. Uh, also, if you look at the size of the grid, for example, the bigger the grid the more that it changes who supports it and who dis support who doesn't support it so um the swirly the swirlian party and the free democratic party are pretty neutral towards this uh, and the sio croatic party quite likes it however if we make it bigger then you start to see that these guys happen to like it a lot less so we're not going to go through with this quite yet uh, but it's probably going to be something that we do right as soon as we get the brand new spread selection tool, which um, which will be super, super nice. Um, also, we should be able to build a police station, which will theoretically, I, I guess, increase the city average security, which is a little bit of a weird way of putting security, I guess, but whatever. Not a bad way to start things off. Our monthly balance is ticking up. 6,383 coinage. Although that's not coinage, actually. It's 586 coinage, but technicalities, right? Technicalities. Uh, so there's pretty much no demand for housing right now. There is zero demand for commercial, and there is loads of demand for industry, which is really annoying. Dinner invitation. The chairman of the National Swirlian Party likes you, and he's invited to dinner. I'm going to accept the, the invitation. Um, Free Democratic Party dislikes me, and the National Swirlian Party likes me okay so i guess that's kind of useful depending on who does well in the elections i don't know when the elections are going to be but they will eventually happen so we need to be on a on a lookout for them all right let's have a look how long is it going to take us to get this it must be like two or three months right i don't know how long it's going to take i have no idea how long it's going to take like two months well like six months GG. G fucking G. Yeah, we just need way more industry. That's pretty much what we need. We've still got a bunch of residential um, places over here. City population. It's coming along nicely. Thermodynamics. Boom. There we go. Oh, it's like, uh, it's like civilization. It reads... Oh, lovely didn't actually make that much noise. Uh, I might adjust the sound just a smidgen. So that perhaps that's uh, that chap is a little louder the next time. Uh, but anyway, what do we want to go for? We could go for this, which would get us increases sales in certain industries or city density selection. You can select the density of a district. It's kind of cool. Work Safety Act. Uh, clinic. Let's get the clinic. I mean, that's... Something that reasonable people would uh, would go after, I feel. Clinic, it's fairly reasonable. Um, okay, so I'm pretty sure that we can't adjust zoning. Oh, we can actually. So we could we could change this around and make it so a bunch of people ended up moving. don't really want to fuck around with this. I kind of want to cancel, yeah. I kind of want to place a brand new district and adjust it to what our, our current demands are. I mean, I've got the cash to do so, right? So, might as well. Just need to make sure that we do it within the realms of the law and make sure that everyone is totally chill with us. That was not what I was planning, but it happened like that. Okay. Uh, let me remove that point. Okay, let's try and get something that's 
looks not terrible. So you're going to be in favor of it. You're not going to hate it, and you are going to be kind of neutral towards it, which is quite nice. Um, should we go for a different grid size? Let's go for a dense grid here. Does that change how people like it? I don't. I think that should be fine. Yeah. All right. Let's give that a let's give that a crack. Confirm land zoning. We're going to uh, increase the business area here. We're going to make that into four districts. Then we're going to make industry into six. Yes. Six. I mean eight. That's what I mean. That's what we want, right? I think that that's a good... Not exactly even breakdown, but it should help with the industry demand with which we have a lot of right now. Let's give it a let's give it a crack. Uh, a grammar school, okay. Grammar school and a police station, both of which we can actually place down now. Um, I am going to place a grammar school down because we should be able to reach all of the all of the residential people in this district. So even over here, the influence should extend to. So grammar school right there will be lovely. Uh, it isn't going to it it is going to increase the cost of the 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 plots, but that's okay. Police station as well. Police station will plonk down in the business area, the mixed area, whatever, and that should be good enough. Okay, that is going to cost a shit ton of money, uh, and actually we're going to get voted heavily against. Apparently, people are really not uh, not a fan of a police station. So people love the idea of a grammar school, but as soon as I place a police station down, everyone fucking hates me. I think it's because I would go over the amount of money that I have. So we would probably go into debt, and that would cause a lot of people to freak out. But this way, uh, this way we don't... We're still very comfortable in terms of finances. Yeah, all right. So this should... This should go through. It should go through. These guys are not very happy with it. So... It should be fine. It should be fine. Um, we've got the biggest party on our side, so theoretically it should go A-OK. -okay. We're going to call this one Industry Baby. With an exclamation mark, because why not? Um, we can't use personal funds or Quicken Prestige. Like I said at the start, we need to, we need to actually try and get this through... Uh, the the council, which is really really cool. I really like this as a as a mechanic. Uh, and now we've got to wait for a little bit to see how long, um, or we've got to wait for the entire cycle of this little thing to go around, and then we'll get to see exactly what happens. We do get to appeal parties, which is kind of cool. So we get to see exactly how things will go. Uh, these guys are pretty much voting on it because of their political compass. And because of a little bit of political goodwill, uh, these guys are pretty much voting on it, are, are voting against it because of their political compass. Uh, that's fine, actually. I don't think that's going to make a big difference for us. 26 council members is not enough. Even if all of them voted against me, which I don't think will happen, but it could, um, I think it'll still be fine. I think we can still absolutely win with the help of the Syocreatic party and the Swirelian party. Even though the Swirelian party is tiny, we can still absolutely win. Anyway, ladies and gents, that's going to bring us towards the end of the episode because holy cow, holy cow, this is very, very exciting. And uh, we're going to see how our brand new district grows uh, and, well, hopefully forms. We, we might not even get it past the council, but... Um, I'm very, very hopeful that we'll be successful in uh, in our endeavor to create a truly wonderful little city. Anyway, ladies and gents, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.